Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, we'll be looking at Google Chat and how you can use some Markdown language to format the text used in those chat windows and chat rooms. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, Markdown is a markup language which is very lightweight and it's used to do some basic formatting. Now, Google Chat recognizes some of these codes. And so I'm going to show you the ones I use the most often. The first is to use bold text. Now, the first thing I'm going to type is today is an important day and I want the word important to be bold. So let's go ahead and type that. Today is an important day. And because I want the word important to be bold, I'm going to put an asterisk before important. So let's go ahead and add that asterisk there. And then also an asterisk at the end of that word. Now, when I send this message, automatically the word important will be bold. Now, if you want multiple words bold, simply move the asterisk. For example, we are going, and then we're going to type asterisk on a holiday, asterisk, full stop. So now everything in between those two asterisks will automatically be boldened. So here we can see, automatically that is applied. That's just the first formatting you can do within Google Chat. Another one that we can use is to use italics. So we can say this is using, and then we're going to do an underscore italics, and then an underscore. Now again, everything in between those underscores will automatically be shifted and it will be using italics. That's the second one we can apply within Google Chat. A third one we can use is the strike through effect. So let's go ahead and see that in action. Here, this is a, and then we're going to type our tilde, strike through effect. And then again, our tilde. This will automatically strike through those words and letters. Which brings us to another two, and these are code formats. So we can have a inline code block, or we can have a multiple line code block. Now we're going to look at both, and for the first one, we're going to use the backticks. Now the backticks are very different from the speech marks, so make sure you find the correct punctuation on your keyboard. But using a backtick, you can have an inline code. For example, this is an backtick inline code block, backtick, the rest is regular text. And then it's automatically going to turn that into a code block. Say you want a multi-line or a paragraph of code block, well then you're going to put three backticks before that paragraph. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to do three backticks, one, two, three. This is a paragraph of code block. Please continue to enjoy these tricks. And then we can end that with three backticks. Enter. And that's automatically turned into a multi-line code block for you to use within Google Chat. Now I hope you found these helpful. So just to summarize, we have our bold, italics, strike through, and then we have inline and multi-line code blocks. Go ahead, play around with these, use them in Google Chat, and then let me know in the comment section below when and how you might use these to really add some basic formatting, yet not distract the readers of your chat messages. Now, if you wanna learn even more on Google Chat, click on the video suggested on the screen right now. In the meantime, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.